99 little bugs in the code. 99 little bugs in the code. Take one down, patch it all around. 127 little bugs in the code. That's a cute little meme for describing what happens in game development when teams try to patch games, trying to fix issues that are obviously present. Unfortunately, this meme is perhaps the most accurate for describing the state of Battlefield 5 at the moment, and it really does pain me to say that. As you know, yesterday DICE issued a hotfix for the game to address a couple of issues, the more pressing ones, that were introduced with the previous Chapter 4 patch, which was arguably the worst for the game so far. This hotfix was intended to address the hit detection issues that were affecting all platforms. It was trying to address crashing issues on the Xbox One platform and restore the ability for players to select Axis Faction face paints. I said in my video that I hoped this hotfix would improve the state of the game, because some of these bugs just shouldn't be present at all. But I also said that I didn't really have any hope that patches for Battlefield 5 would fix anything at the moment, based on past performance. And so it's come to be that yet another patch for Battlefield 5 hasn't done all it said it was going to do. For the next couple of minutes, I'm going to speak of my own experience on the PC platform, and then I'll talk a little bit about other platforms just afterwards. For me here, on the PC at least, the patch appears to have done its job. I'm able to select Axis Faction face paints again, although I will be truthful and say that I hadn't actually tried to change any of them before the hotfix, so I didn't actually experience the bug that other players were experiencing, but I can now change them again, so I assume it worked. I've also found that the hit detection is absolutely fine as well. Playing the two new maps on Squad Conquest, I didn't notice any issues with my bullets registering on other players. That was confirmed by hit markers and damage values spinning up in the points feed, so I assume everything's working okay. I didn't have anything wonky where I thought, I put way more bullets into that player and he still didn't go down. I didn't really have any of those kind of experiences, so again, I assume it's working okay. But I have seen some of my friends who play on PC say that the hit detection is not working correctly for them. However, that might be down to the interpretation of those incorrect damage values being displayed at the bottom in the points feed. It's still quite common to see yourself doing more than 100 damage in the points feed and then not killing somebody. This is a UI bug, it's not a netcode hit detection bug. It's been present in the game for some time now, and yes, it is very confusing, because sometimes you've seen you've done more than 100 damage and the player manages to turn around and kill you. It doesn't feel very fair, but what's actually happening is the game displaying incorrect damage values. The bullets you fired and hit that player with dealt the correct damage, but the UI within the game is just displaying the wrong value. I spoke to a dev about this issue this morning, and they confirmed it's a UI issue. Now, talking about other platforms, things haven't gone so smoothly. Just a few hours after the launch of the hotfix, the EA Help Twitter account tweeted out that issues were occurring during the loading screens on Xbox One, causing the game to crash. Now, I've managed to find an update on this situation from community manager Adam Freeman, so Xbox One players, listen up, this bit is for you. The team has been tracking this issue since the hotfix was deployed and the crashing became apparent. It's not occurring 100% of the time, but it's happening frequently enough that it's causing people to report the issue. The team thinks this issue is the same one that they were tracking before the hotfix was applied to fix it, and they believe that hotfix has failed in the live environment to fix the issue, so more work is going to be needed to fix this problem. The team has noticed that the issue occurs more prominently on Conquest and Breakthrough games, with even further prominence placed on the Rotterdam and Devastation maps. They're seeing higher than expected performance issues on all other maps as well, but those two mentioned are currently the worst offenders. I've also noticed a couple of tweets coming my way from particular players who are experiencing mid-round crashes as well. This one here from Ghost Ivan shows one in particular, and unfortunately, this is the crashing issue that the hotfix was supposed to fix. The one that's in the loading screens, that now appears to be a separate issue, even though the update from Freeman said that it was kind of the same issue. I think it was intended to fix any crashes that were happening. I'm not 100% sure because, honestly, at the moment, the communication around what this fix was supposed to do wasn't very clear, but it seems that mid-round crashes on the Xbox One platform 
are still happening. It seems that this area of the hotfix hasn't worked and it may have introduced a new crash happening now in the loading screens as well, which obviously is very disappointing. Now, outside of this hotfix, we can pretty much forget that for a minute. Battlefield 5 is just... It's, it's in a really, really bad way at the moment. I made a video earlier this week that pretty much said everything I needed to say about performance issues, bugs, glitches, everything that way. And I don't want this video to just be a repeat of that, but I will offer up this at the moment. When the number one topic of discussion for your video game is bugs and glitches, something is terribly wrong with your game. All I'm seeing on social media, comment sections and on forums, these dedicated players who like to discuss the franchise that they love, all these players are just reporting issues and they're telling other people about how frustrating it is and then declaring that they're close to quitting playing the game altogether. Now that might seem a tad extreme to say that you're quitting playing a game after a stint of a few buggy patches, but it is worth remembering what all of these players have already endured. They were told by an ex-EA executive that they are uneducated due to their reaction to the altered version of World War II that was originally shown off in that reveal trailer. They spent the best part of seven months before the launch of the game being told next to nothing about the game in the franchise that they love. They had to take the disappointment of the game launch being delayed by a month. They had to sit through a really rough buggy launch where it became apparent that despite the delayed launch, the game simply wasn't ready to be released. It really should have had more time in development. They had to take the fact that DICE changed their cosmetic approach from everything being behind a grind to nearly everything being behind a grind, but some things, like the best things that you can buy, being only paid options. They had to sit through a six-month period where no multiplayer maps were released for the game. That, in my opinion, is the number one piece of content that players look for in Battlefield games. They had to sit through an entire chapter of the live service that was centered around a Battle Royale game mode that split the community even more than, than it already was at the time. They had to take part in a community-wide debate around Christmas whether the TTK should be changed, despite the fact the game was marketed as a more hardcore tactical game with tight gunplay. And starting since March, just when they thought they were starting to move out of the dark woods that they were stuck in, these players have had to endure patch after patch of just degrading game performance and near constant introduction of bugs and glitches. The level of which is, as I've already said, totally unacceptable for a AAA title coming from a studio as experienced and professional as DICE. That's what these players have endured, and I think that's almost unprecedented within the Battlefield franchise. Yes, and I know some people are going to say, Battlefield 4 was a broken mess as well. It did have its issues, but it didn't have the controversy around its reveal. It didn't have the world's worst marketing campaign, and it didn't disappoint players before it even launched. So yes, Battlefield 4 was a buggy mess, but I think the controversy surrounding Battlefield 5 has added fuel to its fire. And I think you can comfortably say now, after eight months or so, Battlefield 5 is in a worse way than Battlefield 4 ever was, if you look at the entire picture. I honestly did not think that was possible. And as a passionate fan of the franchise, that makes me really, really sad. The quality of Battlefield games used to stand head and shoulders above the rest. It looked really impressive as a AAA first-person shooter. But right now, that quality just simply isn't there. Every time there's a new patch, we're not moving forwards. We're stuck in the same position, or more often than not, we're actually moving backwards. More bugs and issues than there are fixes. But behind all of this is a team at DICE that I know is not happy with this game either. I speak to a lot of the developers daily for this game, and I know personally they're just as disappointed and frustrated that this game isn't in a good place. But the harsh reality here in the gaming world is that you're only as good as your last patch, I think. Audience and players who used to have that loyalty to certain games and franchises, they've changed their behaviour. And now, with so many other options on the market, so many other games that they can go and play, games that don't have the issues that Battlefield 5 has right now, these players are just leaving and they're going to play something else. They don't have to deal with these bugs anymore because there are other options for them. The current state of Battlefield 5 is making DICE look like they are struggling to compete. 
in today's gaming market. And based on the evidence, it's clear that players are starting to vote with their feet. And that's extremely concerning for a franchise as established as the Battlefield one. The only thing that we as a community can do in this situation is to continue highlighting issues and bugs to the development team so that they can try and fix them. I understand how frustrating this is for everybody. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I am just as frustrated as you guys are. Playing a game this buggy and unpolished, it just isn't really acceptable. And it does make you really disappointed. But if you like or love the Battlefield franchise, then you'll want to help make it better. That's why I run my YouTube channel. I like talking about Battlefield games and I like trying to make it the best game that it can be by giving my opinion. I know the team at DICE wants to fix this game and they want to make it better, but if things don't improve, then those players who were close to leaving the franchise will just leave and go and play something else. Trust only goes so far, and right now I think that trust is really, really being tested. I want Battlefield to regain its place as a top-tier AAA shooter game that brings insane action, massive maps, fuck off huge tanks, planes, explosions, V1 rockets, and easter eggs coming out the wazoo, but I think at this point in time, if the community doesn't help DICE, then that's just not going to happen for Battlefield 5. If we help reporting issues, DICE can then log those and try and fix them. If we don't report issues and we don't help them, DICE just won't find those bugs and they won't fix them and the game doesn't get any better. I know the DICE team is really passionate and wants this game to succeed, and maybe it is now too late for Battlefield 5 to really resurge and get back to where it could have been, but as with the bad times during Battlefield 4, the community came together and they helped the DICE team root out the issues and bugs, and eventually the game came good. Battlefield 4 is still now one of the most played games in the franchise, and that's because it's now a damn solid game, but it only got there with the community and DICE working together. That's what Battlefield 5 desperately needs right now. It desperately needs it. All right, I'm done. I've talked enough. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I'm always interested to hear what you guys think, but I'll catch you guys in another video soon.